Hi students, Mr. Bergen here, and I'm going to teach you how to make a square tessellation. And I'm going to try to make this real clear. There are two chunks of code, right? The first column is the main drawing of the tessellation, and the bottom is really just a square with a little bit of funkiness to it. And the right-hand side is what happens when it gets to the edges. Okay, you'll see as we go along. I've got no code in front of me. But I do have my backpack, and I love in Lesson 2 having my backpack. So I can click it, and I can pull out my backpack, that program, and whoops, that's the wrong one. Throw that away, I mean this one. And that's what I call my starter set. So this contains my favorite commands when I'm doing most of my traditional programming. And I don't like the cat. I like to go to costumes. And I like to go to the library. And I like to go under things. And my favorite for programs like this is the arrow to the right, which I believe is 1A. And I could be wrong. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to script. And I'm going to just go move 10 steps. Yep. And that's what we want. So that's the one I like. And now I'm going to assemble a square, which is basically moving and turning. I'll move 20 steps. I'll turn 90 degrees. I've got myself the beginning of a square. I'll go to control. You're getting better and better at this. I'll repeat four times. All right, and how is this going to, I'll put it on the whole thing, how is this going to turn into a tessellation? I don't know. Right now it's one little tiny baby square. But I want to have a whole bunch of squares. If you, right, if you, um, if you have, never seen tessellations it's time for you to do that All right wow these are tessellations wow these are tessellations these are shapes that fit together tessellations have two s's and two l's and you see those shapes that hook together triangles and hexagons and all sort of lizards and all sorts of cool shapes. All these are different kinds of tessellations. Right? And the same exact size fitting together. Wow, look at those horses. Those are called tessellations. Learn how to spell that word. Two S's and two L's. Okay? And now we will, in, in Scratch, go back to our pro program, which should be here. And where do they go? I'll look in my stuff. And it's probably in my last program. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to be making ourselves a tessellation. I think I lost my square, but nonetheless, I didn't save it. I will quickly recreate it. Move 90, turn. No, move, turn 90, move. 20. Now, the key to tessellation is introducing some randomness, right? And some randomness works like this, right? Here's our basic square. I'll make that bigger, and I will click the green flag. There's the square. After drawing the square, which is four sides, we make it do a few extras. So there's a random number command in operators. I'll make sure I save it now, and I will call it my square tessellation. T-E-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E right? Two S's, two L's, and if you're clever, there's also two T's and two E's. Tessellation. Okay. And now what we want to do is use the pick random number. And instead of being four, we're going to pick a random number from four to eight. So if I said to you, pick a random number from 4 to 8, some days you would pick 4, sometimes you would pick 7, sometimes you would pick 5. By putting that in there and making the computer do it, 
it ends up there sometimes, and there, and there, and there. It's always a little different. So if after it does it, it then turns 90 degrees to the left, so we say turn 90, not to the right the way it was going, but turning to the left, now it's ready to draw another square. So that this is the code. Five lines right here. Not really five, four lines. Repeat with randomness and then turn the other way. And these, this little chunk of code, if we say do it forever, that's it. That's how cool this little tessellation is going to be. Watch it go. It's working, it's working, it's working. And the only problem is when it hits an edge, it goes crazy. So we need to right, avoid it going crazy. And for now, all we can do is say, if it ever hits an edge, then stop. Okay? So there's a sensing command. If touching something. We might say to a two-year-old, if you're touching a hot stove, stop. So here we're going to say, if we're touching the edge, if we're touching the edge, so we need control. If we're touching the edge, so we need an if. If we're touching the edge, then stop. And stop all is under control. Now this won't execute unless it has a forever loop around it. Because it's got to be testing at every moment. Like that two-year-old. Forever, if you're ever touching a hot pot, stop, move away. So that's why we put forever about it. And a computer can, e can easily execute two things at the same time. So we just put the green flag, the green hat on this. And now we've got the fact that it will stop when it hits the edge. Now how far it goes, we don't know. You can play with it and we'll get better in subsequent lessons and we'll get fancier and we'll do something better than stop. But this is what we've got for now. And it's pretty good. Ah, it just stopped. That's how far it got. Okay? So what's the essence of this program? Right here. In a forever loop. And what's in the forever loop is basically a square. But it's a square after it turns clockwise 90 degrees, sort of turning right, it turns left once. And it does random, right? So it sometimes does four, sometimes five, sometimes six, seven, or eight. So there's the essence of the code. And now you got to make this happen yourself. You can make it happen in different colors, or you can even do random colors. That's cool as well. All right? And then you have to have this. Otherwise, you're going to get things overlapping when it touches an edge. Okay, study, 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 and practice, 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 and you will get better. A square tessellation. All right? Two S's, two L's, and tessellation. This is Mr. Bergen signing off. Bye, everybody.